it's an iCube kit and um, customize the kits to suit the um, three major age ranges for um, primary, junior, and senior. So at the moment, we're doing the senior bundle. So it comprises of 20 cubes. And let's open up the software. And this is the um, Pactile's iCube software. So going back to this kit, um, let's get the power source. So here are the available features at this stage. So for how to use, it's, it acts actually as a manual. So you can use the left and right arrows for instructions on how to connect and how the cubes are connected to each other and how the cubes can be connected to your laptop. And going back to the menu, so the cubes menu or the cubes feature can actually detect automatically the cube that is connected. For example, if you connect the capacitor, so we connect the resistor, the ammeter, and so on. So here's a um, short description of the function of each of the cube, and the cube, each cube is color coded, and Purple means the inputs, orange means the active components, the blue ones are the passive ones, like connectors, and the green ones are the outputs like fan, lamp, and buzzer. Okay. Now going to projects. So projects. So each of the kits comes with preloaded projects. In this case, for a senior bundle, it comes with more than 100 projects. And the projects are actually sequen um, sequentially arranged from simple to complex project. So as you can see, here's the menu. And you can click the next and back arrows or um, or Similarly, you can click the circles here. And as you can see, those um, project names were derived or relates to practical application. Like, for example, the flashlight or electric fan. Or the daylight fan or police light. So let's start or create out an example. Power source, for example, the simplest project. How is electricity produced? So you hear, um, as you can hear, there's a voiceover. So that could assist and allow students to, to hear the instructions, especially uh, suited for four years old, which, or who cannot really read fluently. Then move to the next. A power source is a device that converts movement, heat, or other forms of energy into electricity. So it discusses the principle of the project and move to the next. This will be the batteries, the solar cells, and the power plants bringing electricity to our homes. It also provides the, some simple examples which kids can, could actually relate to. This is what powers our everyday lives, from brightening our homes at night to powering our phones and laptops. And it actually also um, provides some application to where this project can be applied to. Connect the power source. All right. So at the moment, I'm, it's connected, so the software could detect. So let's say let's start. Let's start again. So now move on to the next step. So it's grade, and this is grade. So you need to connect the power source. Then by connecting the power source, it activates the next button and also activates the cube. And as you put your cursor there, you can actually um, see the actual parameters of the voltage since you're connecting the power source. In this case, 3.8 volts. And they can control it through the software. And moving on, next. Green blocks represent an output device. These are units that produce light, sound, or motion from electricity. So the beauty of this is it act, the instructions provide some descriptions on the following cubes that needs to be connected. 
pick and connect any output device. So let's, let's say for example, it, ex it is expected that you connect the lamp, but in this case I'll be connecting the buzzer. So the software actually can automatically detect that it is wrong. And you click back and connect. And also it is magnetically connected and as you can see there's an arrow there going there. So it teaches that the uh, electricity or the, the current is flowing through that way. So if you try to connect it um, the wrong way, so, so it would repel. So let's connect the right way then. Right. Then moving on. A ground provides a path for electricity to flow back into the power source. We will explain it in detail in later projects. So after um, some, some brief explanation of the concept in some examples and also some application, it provides a simple theoretical explanation as well. And then moving on. Connect the ground. Right. Connecting the ground. Yep, as you can see, lights up, and next, and that's it.